Hey y'all, Irix Guy here back again with another DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus video. Now that's what's in my case right here. You probably checked out my other videos uh, where I custom pulled, plucked the phone piece by piece to fit the, uh, the DJI Phantom 2 Plus like a glove. But you can check this video's description for a link to that as well as the, uh, the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus that I'm using. But what I want to talk about in this video is a scary encounter that I had with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus yesterday. So I was flying and uh, and all of a sudden I, I went out of range and on my, on my controller, on the iPhone 5 display in the Vision app, I saw it said returning home. I was like, uh oh. So fortunately I was watching the camera and I could tell that it was, well number one it was still in range because I had the video feed and number two, it seemed to be coming to where I was. And then sure enough, as it got closer, it, uh, you could, obviously you could start to hear it. But what was scary is that I was landing in a piece of grass, maybe six feet, six foot by about eight foot. So, <laughs> you know, having a light pole and everything there, it was kinda, it was pretty hairy watching this thing come in and land in such a small area with wind. It's pretty windy. But surprisingly enough, it landed itself perfectly. I mean, it was such a smooth landing, it didn't even tilt over and hit the props on the grass. So my purpose for this video is to just say, yeah, yeah, the, uh, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus return home works perfectly. But what you should be aware of, and this is somewhere, this is where I failed. I failed to, uh, to do my due diligence and, and make sure that everything was, uh, was hunky-dory. Where I succeeded was setting the home point. So prior to the flight, you know, read my manual, went through all the checklists, etc., and I knew that, uh, you know, make sure that all the LED lights on the, on the Phantom 2 Vision Plus are doing what they should be doing, and that I'd set my home point. Had I not set the home point, when this thing lost signal, it could have tried to fly somewhere else, which wasn't where it took off from. But fortunately, I set the home point, so it came right back to me. Uh, but what I didn't know at the time, and this is one of the main purposes for posting this video, is that if you're in a situation where it initiates return home, <coughs> at least I couldn't find out how to do it, but I don't think there's a way on the iPhone app to to regain control of the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Because I was sitting there trying to do that because I wanted to land it manually after I had uh, had regained you know, range to where I, could, where I could communicate with it. But I didn't realize at the time that to do that, you've got to toggle the switch on the controller to regain, uh, to regain manual control. So the result was is that it was going to land itself whether I liked it or not because I wasn't familiar enough with it at that point in time to know that, uh, that I could abort the automated return home by toggling that switch on the controller. So just another, another reminder to everyone, yeah, it works great if everything's set up properly, but thoroughly read that manual and know, <coughs> you know, should it go into return home state, and maybe you need to land elsewhere for whatever reason. You need to know how to manually override that. So just uh, just a word to the wise here from iRixGuy, youtube.com forward slash iRixGuy. I want to make sure everybody has a good time with their drone, but I want to uh, want to make sure that you know people don't uh, <laughs> don't fall into the same trap that I almost did. So uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, share this video with others, and enjoy all of my DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus videos. I've got quite a few now and several thousand more coming soon. Y'all have a good day.